Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well despite this trying time. I think nature is very soothing, so let's take an afternoon stroll inside a painting. In light of the current thing, I designed this painting tutorial to be as simple as possible using the fewest and the most accessible art materials from either Michaels, Walmart, or the dollar store. This short 10 minute demo will take you through a step by step demonstration on how to paint. You will learn principles of water painting, color mixing, and brush strokes. Let's take a quick look of the materials. We're using one panel, a flat brush, one palette knife, and something to paint on. A little dish plate works, and some paper towels. I'm using burnt umber shades here, but you can use any type of brown acrylic paint that you have on hand. This part is not very detailed. It's like a nice warm up to study the lighting and shading. If you don't have brown acrylic paint, don't worry. Just use oil and let the underpainting dry before applying other colors. An important note here, oil-based painting cannot be mixed with water. Acrylic, however, is water-based, so do not mix it with oil paint before it's fully dry. Make sure to have paper towels with you for cleaning the palette knife when switching colors. I mix different yellows and then applying them onto the canvas. I'm trying to get the basic shapes and the basic shades of all different greens and yellows that are lit by the sun. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can just play around with what works for you. A painting can be more loose and it doesn't have to be super structured. Let's pick up a little more of that beautiful green and put that up here. If you're gonna paint nature, you have to love colors. If you have a garden, get out there and take some photos. Bring them into the house to use as an inspiration.
Look how loose and free. When you paint loose, hold your brush all the way towards the back because that gives you a very free feel. It's like leading an orchestra. Let's get some rhythm and colors into it. Now we're gonna come down and take a little more color. Let's take a little blue and put that onto the mountains. Keep working the brush. Maybe we can make some yellow ochre and green together. That is green getting there. We're going to use a loose and free edge here to get some green in.
Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my video. I hope you're all staying safe and keeping yourself busy by enjoying some relaxing downtime. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.